Hey y'all, let's take a look at rectangular coordinates. And what you want to do is, um, if you have a printer and you can find some like graph paper templates on the internet and print those off, go ahead and do that. If not, have mom or dad got, get you a packet of graph paper and uh, preferably the type with you know holes punched in there and keep a big chunk of this. And we're gonna graph some stuff for, from now on in the rest of the year and use that. So um, you'll need that. So make sure you have some of that on hand very quickly. All right. This is a coordinate plane. A plane in geometry is just an imaginary kind of a flat surface, like a table or something. A coordinate plane, these are like coordinates. And like, in other words, oh, you know, if you're, you've probably seen, seen somewhere where a guy's trying to, oh, where, where, where's your ship? What coordinates is it? Oh, it's 32, you know, so-and-so miles this way. And then uh, the guy's, okay, I'm going to put that up. Okay, we, we're going to go get you. And they use those coordinates to, to find people. Well, in fact, you ever played Battleship, that game Battleship? You know, that's the one where like you go, okay, um, you go, ha, 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 I've got my ships perfectly. And you're like, okay, go ahead to your like three-year-old sister. All right, you can go first. Your sister goes, uh, G7. You're like, let's play something else. Okay. Anyway, that's, when you say G7, that means you're, you're going to look over like go, okay, G, one, two, ABC, you have G, and then seven is the, uh, you, oh. Okay, that's it. Anyway, so that's the same thing here. And ax the axes, this is an axis. In fact, this is the x-axis. So you should make a little drawing for yourself here. Don't put all these things. Just put a, two axes. This is the y-axis. The plural of axis is axi. That comes from Latin. So a little Latin lesson for you. The quadrant you should know. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. This is the fourth quadrant, okay? Remember the number line? We did that many lessons ago, what the number line actually is. You know, you go, you know, positive one, positive two, three, four, five, so you keep going. And this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on. Well, this is what the x-axis is, is a number line. In fact, the y-axis is also a number line. You just take the x-axis and go, like that and turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees and then you have one two three four and the same thing and then you know negative one negative two negative three negative and so on. okay and we can name we can find points on a coordinate plane and do lots of interesting things with them possibly involving gluten that uh, are helpful in studies in higher math so let's take a look at these and uh, we're gonna do some junk with them so let's take a look okay what are the x and y coordinates of the points on this coordinate plane? Well, let's look at A first, okay? And let me see here. We get another color. Okay, there's our A. Now, to find this, we're simply going to start at the origin. Remember, the number line is the origin. It's, it's the origin of this, the x, the x axis, and the y axis. So we're going to go over to the right. One, two, three. three. So that's going to be three. Excuse me. And then we're going to go, we don't just go, oh, it's at three. The person will go, um, okay, a three, where? Then, then where from there? You go, oh, yeah. So you need two dimensions. So one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. There we go. Three and four. This is the X. That's first, alphabetically as well. And this is the Y. That's how you tell people where a point is. Okay. Let's look at B. Well, on the X this time, you're going to go one, two, three, four over to the left. So B will be negative 4 something. And we actually go here. We go 1, 2 up. That's a positive 2. Remember, this is a num another number line that just got turned this way. So the positives are up here. So it's going to be negative 4 and then 2. That's your X. That's your Y. All right? For C, we're going to go 1, 2 over. That's going to be the X. So negative 2. Excuse me. That's a 3. What am I thinking? No, no I'm sorry. That's a 2. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, we're going to go negative 5 for the y coordinate. And that's in the first, second, third quadrant. For d, that's in the fourth quadrant. We're going to go 1, 2, 3 over for the x. And then we're going to go 1, 2 down for the y. That's going to be 3 and then negative 2. That's how you name things, just like battleship or you know something like that. You do the x first, either, it's either left or right. Then you do the y, which is either up or down. And sometimes it'll be something like well, you know what? I'll show you this in a second. Okay. Let's graph these points. And go ahead. If you have a, uh, 
you can make up your own pizza graph. Just go like this. Just kind of go like this and do a couple of one, two, three like this and go one, two, three. And you can kind of like move them, you know, negative one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And just do it like that. But go ahead and get that graph paper this week right away. Okay, so go ahead and graph A. Pause it. Okay, for, this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. So we have one, two, three, four. That's the X and then the Y we go up to and there is your four and two. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, for B we have four is the X, so one, two, three, four. It's a positive four, so you go going to the right. Negative three for the Y means you go down. One, two, three, and there you go. Okay, pause it and try C. Okay, C, for the X, you gotta go negative four. So again, look at this as a number line. Negative four will be one, two, three, four. And then the Y is gonna be negative three, which means this is the number line here, and the, the negatives on the Y number line are down here. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and that is your third point. There we go, okay. That's graphing on the rectangular coordinate, okay? Now, let's go ahead and do this one. Do a, do a quick sketch of a coordinate system. Just do the x and y axes, and then graph the points negative three, two, and then four, negative one. Go ahead and pause it and do that. All right, this is what I would do. I would just go, okay, there's my y, there's my x. I mean, just do approximately. So let's do the first one. Negative three is the x. So I'm gonna go one, two, three over, and then two is the y, which means I go one, two, that's my point right there. Oops. If you hang on too, oops, look there. If you hang on too long on this thing, it goes. Okay, that's my negative three, then positive two. Let's just call it a one, two, like that. Okay, four, negative one, that's gonna be one, two, three, four to the positive for the x. And then negative one for the y, remember the y is just the same axis, or the, uh, yeah, turned this way. And then go down, and then there's my, for negative one. There you go, that's it, okay? Now let's look at this and they'll give you uh, little puzzles like that. The vertices, by the way, vertices, that's the plural of vertex, more Latin for you. Um, the vertices of a rectangle are, and there's all four of them, right? Draw the rectangle and find its perimeter and area. If you don't have a piece of graph paper at this point, let's just do this together to save a lot of time. But let's, let's at least try to figure out these vertices which basically are the corners, okay? So we have first, let's go negative two, negative three. So that, don't forget, this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. Negative two means you go left two. Negative three y means you go down. One, two, three, boom, there it is right there. Okay, now we have four, two. Well, that's, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. And you're not starting down here, you're starting at the origin every time. One, two, three, four, then one, two, and there you go. Then four, negative three, will be this. One, two, three, four for the X, right? And again, negative three, one, two, three. You can probably guess where the last one is. Negative two, two, which means you go X negative and then up to positive. Okay, so it looks like there's our rectangle. Oh, oh, can I even hit one? I didn't even hit, oh, well, I guess I had one of the dots. Oh, brother, okay, we can figure out this thing is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good grief. Okay, it's six across this way. And then one, two, three, four, five. Ugh. All right. Well, the perimeter means the distance around the whole thing. You got two sides that are six. That's 12. Two sides that are five. That's 10. So it's 22. The area will be six times five or 65. Okay. I'm just kidding. It's 30. Okay. All right. Look on page 125 and let's try those and see what you get. Okay, negative four, negative three will be right here. Will be one, two, three, that's negative four, then negative three, one, two, three, there you go. Okay, negative four, two will be x is one, two, three, negative four, but the y will be positive two. The, second, the next one, three, negative two, the X is three, one, two, three, and then negative two, one, two, right there. And then let's see, we've got three and five, so that'll be one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, and five, okay. All right, hope those go well. Don't forget to ask mom and dad for some graph paper right away, okay? And maybe do the dishes for them or something like that. Okay, see you guys, bye.